In this video, we are going to learn on how to draw the activity diagram for library management system. So in the previous video, I have explained how to draw the activity diagram for hospital management system. So I will attach the link in the description. And also in another video, I have explained what symbols we use for drawing the activity diagram. So knowing each symbol which is required in drawing the activity diagram is very important. So please do watch that video first, the symbol video first, then watch this for better understanding. Even the video for symbols, I will attach the link in the description. Now let's get into this video. So what is the first step in drawing an activity diagram? A process. There will be a process for library management system. So the first step is we need to start the process. So how will you start the process? You need to draw a circle like this and shade it completely inside. So this is known as the start symbol. So you need to start the process of the library management system. What is the next step? You need to put an arrow. This arrow indicates that the flow goes in the downward direction. The first step is you need to start the process. The second step is you need to check for the availability of the book. Check for the availability of the book. So this is very important, checking for the availability of the book. The book which is required by us, it should be available in the library. Only then we can take that book. If it is not there, then we need not go to the library, right? We can go out of the library. We need not waste our time by searching for a book. We just need to ask them whether this book is available or not. If it is available, we can take that. If it is not available, we can move out of the library. So check availability of the book. This we need to draw inside a rectangle which has circled corners on all the four sides. So circled corners like this and then draw the line like this. So this is known as activity symbol. Activity symbol. The name of this symbol is activity symbol. So in the process you are first starting it Next, you are checking for the availability of book. After checking for the availability of the book, you are going to use the condition. For condition, you need to put a diamond box like this. Don't forget to put the downward arrows. A diamond box like this. Next, not available as one option. Available as one option. So, you are checking for the availability of the book. If the book is not available, then you can just write the message telling that book is not available. So, when book is not available, you have nothing to do in the library now. So, you can end the process. So, how will you end the process Put a downward arrow. In the processes, you need to put a circle and inside you need to put a small circle and color it. This is the stop. Stop symbol. Stop symbol means you are ending the process here itself. You are checking for the availability of the book. Next, you are deciding whether the book is available or not available. If it is not available, so you are writing book is not available. If book is not available, it automatically means that there is nothing to do in the library anymore, right? Because the book which you need, it is not there. So you can leave the library now. For example, if the book is available, then there are further procedures which needs to be followed. So in condition, there are two things. One is not available, book not available. Another one is book is available. If book is not available, the process ends. You can leave the library. If book is available, you need to follow the other procedures. So now book is available. Next what you need to do? You need to validate the member. Draw the circled corner rectangle like this. 
validate member so now again a decision box and two things you have to write one is not valid and another one is valid so not valid means the member is not a part of the library so the member needs to register to this library so register the member to this library not valid means while you're checking if this member is valid that means this member is already a part of this library so if they are already a part of the library then you need to check the number of books that has been issued to the checking the number of books issued to the member so how many books they have taken from this library you need to check now again you need to draw the condition box what condition you will check now you're going to check whether maximum number of books have it been exceeded or not maximum number exceeded or not you are going to check now now for example in this library you are allowed to take only four books if you have already taken four books and now if you want another book you will be not given the book will not be given to you from that four if you return one you can take another one you can't take one extra without returning any books from the four so if maximum number has been exceeded then the book will not be issued book will not be issued if the maximum number of books have been exceeded if only four books you are allowed to take from a library and if you want to take a fifth book you will not be allowed to take book will not be issued to you now for example no the maximum number of books have not been exceeded in this case the books will be issued to the member you have to issue the book to the member next after issuing the book the process ends so draw the stop symbol by putting a circle and a small circle inside and bubble it so you are stopping the person next register member you are registering a new member to this library after registering the new member to the library directly you will issue the books next the process will stop so the flow goes like this first you need to start the process next you need to check for the availability of the book you need a book you're going to the library in search of a book which you want you're going to the library for that sometimes the book will be available in the library sometimes it will not be available if the book is not available then directly you can leave from the library you, you need not waste your time there if the book is available in the library then they will check whether you are a member of that library or not if you are not a member of the library they will get some details from you and they will register your name under their library as a member if already you are a member of the library then they will check how many books you have issued how many books they have issued to you okay they will check that next they will see whether it is exceeding the maximum number or not for example uh, there is a rule that in this library you are allowed to take only four books then if it is exceeding four books now like we have you want to take the fifth book definitely they will not issue the book to you if you have taken only three books and you want to, you want to take another book they will issue the book to you so maximum number exceeded means the book will not be issued to the member if it is not exceeding means the book will be issued to the member then the process will stop if you are registering the member newly to the library then directly they can take the book they can issue like we can issue the book for them next the process will end 
so issue a book from the library they will issue a book from the library to the register num members directly and then the process will end before issuing the book to the already registered member they will check whether the limit is exceeding the maximum limit of taking books is exceeding or not if it is exceeding they will not issue the book if it is not exceeding they will issue the book so this is the flow in which library management system works so in this way you need to draw the activity diagram for library management system so don't forget these symbols for start this is the symbol and this is the symbol of activity you are writing some activity that is happening then you need to draw a rectangle which has circled corners next this is a symbol known as decision that is condition any condition you want to put you need to use this diamond box next lastly this top symbol you need to put a circle and you need to put a small circle inside that and bubble it so this is the activity diagram the final activity diagram